Hello. Hello. I was watching those awards and listening, and so many helpful people, and this expressive arts in trying to uh, find the right expression to help people. And so I, came, I thought about this story, a little short story, about this fella. He's walking through a community where he, he wasn't from that community. He was just walking through that community, and he was walking on a path, and he looked, and there was a fella down in a hole. So right away, he was a compassionate person, so he leaned over, and he put his hands down, and he said, Give me your hands. And the fellow down the hole went like this. He said, no, no, give me your hands. And once again, the fellow went like this. Three times. Give me your hands. Three times. I went like this. He was baffled about it. So he, he walked away and he started talking with people. And he, and he found out that fellow's story. He said, oh, the fellow down the hole down there? He goes, yeah, what's his story? He goes, oh, yeah, that's Jack. He, he never gives. He always takes. He ran back and he said, take my hands. <laughs> so once you know somebody's story, you're in better position to help them. And through hearing people's stories, we gain compassion and empathy. And... Uh, this room is full of compassionate people, so I thought about sharing this story with you. There was this fellow, his name is Joseph. He had this farm, and right next door to him was his buddy. And they had known each other since they were young children, young boys, and they grew up together. And now they were old men, and all they had left in life were their friendship and their farms. And one day, they argued. First time they'd ever argued. Here they are friends their whole life, old men, and they argued. It was over something silly, let me tell you. Joseph's neighbor, he found his calf in the woods, and he claimed that calf for himself. And Joseph said, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. That calf has the same markings as my cow. That must be my calf, I'll take him. No, you won't, I found this calf and I'm gonna keep him but it has the same markings as my cow. I'm sure it's my calf. No, it's my calf and I'm gonna keep him. Well, neither of these fellas needed a calf or a cow, but they argued. For the first time in their life, they argued and they just stopped talking to one another. Just like that, just stopped talking to one another. And after about a week's time, a gray cloud had formed over Joseph's house. He was sitting there in the morning having a cup of coffee and a biscuit when there was a a knock at the door. Now Joseph, he, he wasn't expecting any company, but he was plenty lonesome, hoping for some company. He opened that door and there's a young fellow there. He was a carpenter, had some wooden carpentry tools. He looked up at Joseph, he said, hello, uh, I'm a carpenter and I'm looking for some work. And I wonder if you might have some work around this place I might do. And Joseph said, well, why don't you come on in and we'll talk about it. I invited that young fellow in and sat him down at the table and gave him a coffee and a biscuit and talking for a while, and Joseph took a liking to this young fella. And he said, you know, young man, here's something I got for you to do. Look out this window here. See that farm across the way there? And see that, see that creek that separates our property? That creek was not there last week. That fella, just to spite me, got a, some heavy equipment and he dug a trench from that pond over yonder there, and he made that creek flow right between our property lines just to spite me. Young man, I want you to do me one better. I want you to build me a fence, a big high fence, so I don't have to see this place anymore. Can you do that? Well, the young fella said, well, uh, I got my tools. If you got the material, I can do a job I'm sure you'd be happy with. Well, come on. Went down to the old woodshed, took out all this lumber, put it right next to the creek. And old Joe said, you go ahead and start, young man. I'm going to go to town and get some supplies. I'll be back shortly. And Joseph, he got on a wagon and he rode on into town. Well, that young fella, he started measuring and cutting and measuring and cutting and measuring and cutting and hammering and measuring and cutting and hammering and hammering and measuring and cutting. And he said, work it out, you know, just measuring and cutting, measuring and cutting and hammering and hammering to work it out. 
little while later, Joseph come back from town with a wagon loaded down with supplies, pulled up in the yard, looked across that field, couldn't believe his eyes, couldn't believe it. He jumped off that wagon and went running across that field to give that young fella a piece of his mind. Because you see, that young fella, he didn't build a fence. He built a bridge. And Joseph went running across that field to give that young fella a piece of his mind. When Joseph's neighbor came across that bridge and said, Joe, you're some kind of guy. I never would have thought of this. I'm so glad you want to be friends again. And old Joe said, yeah. <laughs> I knew that calf was yours all along. I just want to be your friend too. And they threw their arms around one another. And they sat down on the ground. They laughed like old times. And Joseph looked over, and that young fella, he was packing up his tools, and he started walking away. And Joseph said, hey, young man, hold on there, hold on there. Where are you going in such a hurry? I got plenty of work around this place for you to do. I got plenty of work for you to do. The young fella looked at Joe and said, Joe, I'd like to stay but i got to be moving on, you see. I've got more bridges to build. And that's a story about Joseph and the bridge builder. And you, all of you out there who work with people and work as a team with others, you're, you're, you're building bridges. And we all know that fences don't make it. And we need bridge builders. And I'm glad that I was available to come and share it little story with you and uh, just let you know that we take, we acknowledge all of you as bridge builders and helping people get over the rough spots in their lives. Thank you.